Hello and welcome back to Snivy Path. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with all your friends. So today, the Pokemon Japanese sets of the Dragon Sky Sky Stream and Towering Perfection have been revealed, and all of the card lists have been put out. So you're going to take a look at the cards. There's actually there's a few quite good ones in here of the trainer cards and stuff that we want to look at. So let's get started. We still, keep in mind, we still have our rapid strike cards and our signal strike cards in here. So that is very important to remember. So our first V card, we have Trevenant V, which is a grass type Pokemon, 210 HP, basic Pokemon, obviously. It's for grass energy and a psychic energy, absorb life 30 damage and heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. Eh, that's, that's not, the, that's not that great. For two energy, for one energy, that'd be great. But for two energies, that's, that's, eh. It's okay. Uh, second attack for two grass energies, one colorless energy, shadow claw, 120 damage, discard a random card from your opponent's hand. That's better, but we can step it up with the Trevenant V max card. It's going to be stage one of all some Trevenant V, 320 HP, and it's going to be for one grass energy, one colorless energy, forest song, 40 times damage. This attack does 40 damage for each supporter card in your opponent's discard pile. This, I mean, it's great early game and late game if you just want to get some cards out and stuff, but especially late game when your opponent's already played a bunch of supporter cards, they're all going to be in their discard pile. You'll be able to swing for tons of damage. And then it's regular attack, which is um, for two grass energies, one colorless energy, max forest for 180 damage. The first attack is what you're really going to be focusing on. You can definitely um, get a lot of stuff out with this. You can use um, the new supporter card from Chilling Rain to discard the cards from your opponent's hand. You can use, um, if you're playing Expanded, you can use the one from, I forget that Sabrina's suggestion, from Hidden Fates and, um, uh, what's the other one? Team Up. Yep, it's from Team Up as well. So, moving on into our fire types. We have Victini. Victini's pretty good, but nothing special. And we also have, for our fire type Pokemon, we have Volcarona. 210 HP, basic Pokemon, fire type. Obviously, it's from one to fire type energy, surging flames, 20 plus damage. This tech is 20 more damage for each basic energy card in your discard pile. Then shuffle those cards back into your deck. So for two um, fire energies and one colors energy, it's second attack, 160 damage. Discard energy from this Pokemon. It's nothing special as far as just attack, but you can use inspire type decks. You're really going to need stuff like this now with low energy attacks because Welder is going to be going away in the rotation, which is going to be taking place in about two or three weeks. So that is always a good tech card that you can put in your decks to replace stuff like your Reshazard, your Ninetales, stuff like that. So our water type Pokemon V, we have Gyarados V, water type 220 HP, basic Pokemon, obviously. So for two water energies, one colorless energy, we have Temper Tantrum, 20 times damage, attack is 20 damage times the number of damage counters on this Pokemon. And then a second attack for three water energy into one colorless energy, Heavy Storm, 180 damage. It's nothing special, it's just your regular old V card, but again, can be stepped up with the VMAX card. Gyarados VMAX, water type, 330 HP VMAX Pokemon, evolves from Gyarados V, two water colorless energies, and Hyper Beam, 120 damage, discard and energy attached to that Pokemon. And for three water energies, one colorless energy, max tyrant, 240 damage. So this is actually a pretty decent card because you, you obviously you get that crushing hammer effect with the first tech and does 240 damage, which is enough to knock out any of the V cards without any Pokemon tool cards or anything on there like that. And it can three-shot any Pokemon in the entire game with tool cards if you do just the attack twice. So that is pretty good. So moving on to our next card, we have no lightning ones, but we do have some fighting type ones. We have Metacham, which is a fighting type Pokemon V card, Rapid Strial, Psych, and base Pokemon, obviously. 210 HP for two colors energies, Yoga Loop, but two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. If your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by this attack at the end of your turn, you can take another turn. This attack cannot be used if any of your Pokemon have used Lo Yoga Loop during your last turn. This is actually really, really cool. This is, I mean, if you just have some lower HP Pokemon on the bench, or you just do a bunch of damage and stuff, you can use this. You can take another turn. This is unlike anything we've ever seen before. There's only a very few, very, 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 very few cards that have ever let you do this. This will be... Honestly, I'm going to make a deck around this. This is a really, really cool card, especially if you can get um, all the cards out that you need. And then it's a regular attack for one fighting with two colors energy, smash, uppercut, 100 damage, attack, effect by reading this, nothing special. 
So, moving on to our next card, we have our Dragon Pokemon. So these, are, these, these sets are based around Dragon Pokemon, so this is very good. So, Dragonite V with 230 HP, basic Pokemon, obviously. Two Colorless Energy slash 50 damage. This attack isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's attack Pokemon. Nothing special. But then it's second attack for two Water Energies and one Lightning Energy. Dragon Gale, 250 damage. Attack, it does 20 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. Doesn't apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon. That is really, really good. Well, it could be. Okay, so let me explain. So you got Dragon Pokemon are special. We haven't seen them in the meta in quite a bit. They have, I'll zoom in here, they have all these different attack costs. You can get, you have to get the water energies out and the electric energies out. You do hunt 250 damage on a just regular V card, which is really good, but it's going to be super, super, super awkward to get out. You could use like the new, the new Welder card, the water type thing. Oops, scrolling down here on mistake, sorry. You could use that to get this on there. Yeah, it would make it a little bit easier, but at the same time, you're going to need to play a bunch of different energy types, especially if you're playing other versions of Dragon Pokemon, which you'll see next up. We, because we'll, next, we will have Rayquaza V card and the V Max card, obviously. And it is a 210 HP Pokemon Rapid Strike version. For one Lightning Energy Dragon Pulse, 40 damage is part of the top two cards of your deck. And for one for one fire energy and one lightning energy spiral burst 20 plus damage you may discard up to either two basic um fire energies or up to two basic lightning energies on this pokemon stack is 80 damage for each energy you discard in this way so you could do up to 180 damage for two energies that's and that is really good you would have to put three energies on there granted but that is pretty good because you will you'll be able to do 180 damage that's Phenomenal on just a regular V card, especially one that has a V Max, which is again Rapid Strike style, 320 HP, a bit low for a V Max card, but that is okay. Its ability Sky High Wave. Once during your turn, you may discard all cards from your hand. If you do, draw three cards. So this can get all your stuff in the discard pile you need for some of the other Pokemon mentioned earlier. And it's regular attack for one Fire and one Lightning Energy. Max Burst, 20 plus damage. You may discard either any number of basic. Um, fire energies or basic lightning energy from this Pokemon does 80 damage each more for each energy discarded. So it's the same thing as this original attack, but you, you're not limited to two energies, which actually makes it really good. This deck is going, it's a the Requaza deck is going to see a lot of play, 100%. You can um, add it in with stuff up there with your electric Pokemon, with your fire type Pokemon, all sorts of stuff. So moving on to our trainer cards here. No, um, we do not have any colorless type V cards in this set, unfortunately, which I mean, it's okay, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. So moving on to trainer cards, we have Lucky Popsicle, which is a item card. It is all you do is just heal 20 damage from your active Pokemon, then flip a coin. If heads, return this card to your hand instead of discarding it, and you may play any number of item cards during your turn, obviously. So if it's tails, it does nothing, obviously. So it does it's it's really good. You um get to put it back into your hand, you heal the damage, everything's well and good. So next up with our item cards, we have Toy Catcher. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with a 50 HP or less with their active Pokemon. So this is a boss's orders item card, but it has to be a 50 HP or less Pokemon. Unfortunately, that is a very, very big drawback. But it still means that you'll be able to get a free boss's order at some point with an item card, which is, again, really good. So moving on, we just have, like, the great balls and all that stuff that are usually in the Japanese set. Next, we have our new glove cards, which we saw in Chilling Rain. They're going to be making these sort of like the special energy cards. They're going to be making these for, like, pretty much every type. So rubber gloves, trainer card. Attach a Pokemon tool card to one of your Pokemon that doesn't already have a tool attached, obviously. And... The attacks of the Pokemon card that's attached to do 30 more damage to your opponent's active lightning Pokemon. Four apply weakness and resistance, obviously, again. So this is going to be a continuation of the gloves that were in the battle styles and that were in Chilling Rain. This is going to be the lightning version of it. In the other set, which we will cover later today, there's going to be the other typings versions of these gloves, which is very nice. She always wanted to see it. So we have more of these scroll cards. These were introduced in Battle Styles. They were sort of scrapped in Chilling Rain, but they are bringing them back into our dragon set. So it is Rapid Strike Scroll, Flying Dragon Scroll, Trainer Card. 
Okay, if you did not hear that, that was a firework, if you didn't know. Uh, <laughs> it is 4th of July, uh, where I am. It is, I'm recording this on July 4th, as you can see in the little screen down here. And uh, that, was, that was a huge firework. Wow. So, moving on from that, um, this card is really, really good. Um, basically, it is going to be like the Z cards that were in the X and Y expansion for Zygarde. And it will allow you to add an extra attack to some of your Pokemon. So it is for its attack in is, for one, fire energy, one, lightning energy. It feels, feels so weird attaching it to a Pokemon instead of a just regular Pokemon. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. So moving on, is a fire energy and a lightning energy meteor. Discard two energy cards from this Pokemon. This attack does 90 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. And that's about it. So... It's, it's it's okay. You could you, this can go on just regular Pokemon and stuff. So I guess it could be better. But at the same time, you're doing 90 damage and then discarding. It's not it's not that great. The other ones weren't that great. But I mean, you know, you win some, you lose some. Our next Pokemon is again an item card. We have Underwater Mask, which is like I said, an item card. And it is effect is if the Pokemon card this attached to is in the active spot and damaged by an attack. Even from your opponent's Pokemon, and even if it is knocked out, your opponent chooses a card from their hand and discards it. Now, this is a bit opposite from what we normally have for these cards. Usually, you would get to discard the card from their hand. You obviously wouldn't be able to look at their hand and stuff, though. But this is a bit different because your opponent would get to choose which cards they discard. It is not as good as the older versions of this card because they can just choose cards they don't want, such as just energy cards or something like that. But it is still good nonetheless. So now moving on to our supporter cards, we have Shauna, which they are bringing this card back. This is from the X and Y expansion, which is pretty cool. So it is, like I said, a supporter card. Shove your hand into your deck, then draw five cards. Nothing real special, but it is really cool that they are bringing this back. They're doing that with quite a lot of cards now, like Skyla from the previous set and the Melanie from the other previous set, which is really cool how they're doing that. So next we have Schoolboy. Draw cards. Draw two cards. If your opponent has five, three, or one prize cards remaining, draw two more. So, again, this is a pretty odd card to be using. I mean, you can use it. It's a bit of a gamble. It's, it's half the time. Half the time you get two cards, half the time you get four cards. Which, I mean, you can debate whether you would want to take that risk or not. I personally would, I don't really play draw cards. So, I would just play like a, a card that will let you draw like a Chinchino from Sword and Shield base set. But that is, that's just my opinion. So, next trainer card, we have another supporter card, Xena's Resolve. And this one was another one from the Sun and Moon expansion. You must discard two cards from your hand in order to play this card. Draw one card for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. This is another one of those gamble cards, sort of like the Schoolboy from before. And you see, you, it's kind of up to your own personal judgment if you would want to play this and take the risk for it. But, I mean, like, again, personally, I wouldn't do it because you're only getting maximum four cards. At, I mean, your opponent usually, usually is not going to have their entire bench fill, especially when you're just using supporter cards at the beginning of the game and stuff. This so would only really be good a late game, even if it is late game. Then, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, I, it just doesn't, doesn't really make sense to me why you would play it. It's just not that great. So, next we got Stormy Range Trainer card, and it is a stadium card, our only stadium card for this set. Once during each player's turn, that player may search your deck for basic lightning or, what does this say here? Dragon Energy Pokemon, and put it onto the bench, then that player shuffles their deck. Now, this is really good. This is sort of like the Turfield Stadium card, except you don't have to only search for an evolution Pokemon. You can search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it onto your bench, which is arguably 10 times better than an evolution Pokemon because most decks are, if they're playing these cards, they're going to be wanting those basics a lot more than those stage ones because they need a basic in order to get the stage one out anyways. So that is going to be a very good card. You're definitely going to see a lot of play on that card. And the last card from the set is Aurora Energy, just a reprint card from the last set so that is what set is this i don't even know there's like there's all these different sets all running around my brain and stuff sky stream so the set overall i'd say is about an eh, i'd say 7.5 out of 10 for just your regular set chilling rain so far seems to be superior because you have all the supporter cards and stuff 
But later today, we will go over the other set, which is Towering Perfection, which starts right here on a Suicune V. And we will go over that later today in another video. So, I think that's about it. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or just want to start a conversation, be sure to leave in the comments below. And like always, guys, have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm.